right, hi guys. New change of scenery, busy week, ended up filming stories at home, but I am so excited about, and I still haven't changed my nails. I just realized that I still haven't changed my nails. Okay, we are talking about the like denim that everybody's been waiting for. The Eagle B Riley. This is a high-waisted straight leg by Whiplash. So amazing, number one. Look at how sick this wash is. How awesome. Destruction detail, perfect leg length. Number two, stretchy. So incredibly stretchy, so high, belly button's way up here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you three ways I'm wearing it. Um, and I kinda wanna give you a little style tips because when you try on a straight leg, I think there are a couple questions you may have. Number one, what shoes do I wear with it? How do I wear it with different shoes? All the things. Um, I'll break down this outfit first. Okay, so I am wearing a 29 in these, you guys, so that'd be about a size eight. Um, mm -hmm. Super high. Oh, and I have a guest. Hold on one second. Okay, I have I have a little partner in crime helping me right now. She's doing her work right now. Okay, but I tucked in this um, Chaser graphic tee. So cute. Paint, paint splatters. Just because I want to show you how high the rise is, but this shirt is actually super adorable if I didn't even tuck it in. Look at that paint splatter. Little baseball hem. Paired it with this adorable blank NYC, this like quilted olive jacket. Hold on one second, babe. Um, okay, quilted little jacket, kind of cuts up in the back, which I think is really fun. Look at that little hem detail. How cute is this? Okay, wearing a large. Um, wanted to show you guys my little neat necklace details, just doing this like fun little trio, lightning bolt, my chain, and then my, of course my snake necklace. Um, you know, bringing it back and then just an easy gold hoop. And I'm going to wear this trio for all three looks because what I love about our accessories right now is you can wear it three different ways. Okay. But one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is footwear and how to pair it back to the Riley, because this is like a true straight leg. That's why I love it. But I think it can be a little tricky what um, footwear to wear with it. So I'm going to bring you guys down and show you how I'm wearing it with a pair of sneakers. Okay. I realize this is like a straight crotch shot, but okay. So I'm five foot eight, five foot nine. I'm not quite sure, but as you can see, I'm pairing it with these little adorable J slide high tops. And I have just enough room that I can leave it completely straight because I have enough ankle. But Courtney, our stylist at our studio here today, she had on a, not here, we're at my house. Um, she had on a pair of straight legs like the Riley's paired with a high top and they were just a little too long where they were bunching by the high top. She did one strong cuff and it looked absolutely adorable. Just enough to give her like a good inch. I'm not gonna get any closer because my legs are so hairy right now. Um, she just left about a good inch um, between the foot, the sneaker and her jeans and it looked absolutely adorable. So as long as you have about a good inch in between your sneaker and your straight leg, you're set. If you have extra, just give it a big strong cuff and you'll be totally set. Okay, I have only one word for this look. And I shouldn't say it, but I gotta say it. It's I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this whole look. Number one, the Rileys just as you wear them, they warm up and they get softer and they feel even better and better every time. Number two, this new Electric and Rose tie-dye hoodie feels like heaven. Fuzzy in the inside. I don't I don't know why I really love these strings, but I'm obsessed with these strings. And then this new Anorak Hero jacket. I sold my puffer from last year. I need a new one. This might be it. This is a new one. It's like got this little distressing to it. So it's, I don't know. It's like feels brushed, soft, cozy. I'm wearing a large in it. I love how wide the, um, oh my God, I'm having a total brain fart. I want to say lapel, but they're not a lapel collar goes. And I don't know, with a hoodie over the top of it. And then it's a little bit more of a, a little bit more, a little bit of a shorter sleeve. And I love how the tie dye is just popping up. Okay, we're going to talk about the shoes next. Give me a second. Okay, we're set. I also want to just call out you guys that the sleeve is supposed to be a little bit shorter and wider. So you can have your layer underneath kind of poke through, which I think is really fun. Kind of an update instead of being super tight. Okay. Riley's so good. Okay, if you can see down here, and I'll bring the, the camera down. Gave myself a little cuff because check out these combat boots. So sick. They are a mic picture. I tried them on. I didn't try them. I talked about them on live the other day on Monday. Ugh, so good. So good. Okay, so I have them paired because I love that the way it picks out the white and the tie dye. But I gave it a little cuff because they're a little bit higher shaft and that they were just kind of competing. So it's giving me a cankle. So just to give, make my legs look a little bit thinner, I gave them a little cuff. So I'll bring it down and kind of show you guys how I did that. Okay, can you guys see this? And my like massive bald spot right there. But I just gave myself like a good 
inch cuff just to show a little bit of ankle if um, I'm kind of roaming around in Minnesota <laughs> I give myself a sock I might even like put a sock underneath if it was like kind of cute and decorative I don't I don't feel like I have any cute decorative socks I have a dog so they all have holes in it but I just like a little bit of ankle showing because it just adds a little bit of sexiness makes the leg look a little bit leaner but how sick are these Mark Fishers so fun to be so cute with the legging too okay I'm gonna now I'm just gonna sit here and squat with you I'm gonna try one more pair of Riley's um we have two in right now this other one's a little bit cleaner and kind of my date night look all right you guys this is my date night look okay let's talk about the Riley's first so this is the other style of Riley's we have in the color is frequency they are much more rigid than the whiplash also doesn't have any destruction in the knee but this really cute destruction in the hem okay so if you don't know, I have a very athletic build. So I carry a lot of my weight in my thighs, in my booty. I mean, like the crotch of the jeans don't even meet my like, real crotch. But I know once I like wear them and warm this up, they're going to start to like relax because they're a little, I don't want to use the term thin as in thin in a bad way. I mean, like thin as in like once I start wearing them, they're going to become that tried and true amazing denim. So I'm kind of like, I don't know which pair I want. I kind of love them both. But it has like all these really cool destruction Details, do you see that? Like even, look at the pockets, like how sick. Okay, but paired it with this little rails top, leaving the sleeves unbuttoned, but down, you know, winter. Kind of unbuttoned it, I don't even know how many, you know, sexy vibes, so I unbuttoned it a little bit, kept my little layers on, so easy, and then I paired it with a pump because God knows when have you worn those last, and sometimes you just need it to feel really good about yourself. Um. Okay, I also wanna make one more call out, you guys, on the Mark Fisher combat boots, because actually, these if you just wanted like to be like dressed up and not all the way and maybe you didn't want to wear the pump these would be really really cute with the Riley's again and if they're too long for them remember just give them like a little cuff and they got that cute little destruction so easy okay but I just had these on and did the entire last look with a cardboard piece in it and I didn't even feel it like that's how comfortable they were like I might need them the whole cardboard piece in it didn't even know it that's how comfy these suckers are and so are the Riley's okay you guys post any questions you have on the Riley's. I think I would do a 29 in both, even with this rigid pair and the stretchy pair, because even if they relax, I think that's a fun thing about like these kind of straight legs is like the expression of fit, the more loose boyfriendy they are. So, so good. But okay. I feel like I'm whispering because it's getting to the end of the day and I'm wishing my family was asleep, but only one person or oh, two, the dog and the baby are sleeping. But anyways, have a great rest of your week. Have a great Halloween weekend. And I'm going to see you next week.